How are you guys doing today? So today, we're visiting some more famous people here. With my special map, let's go pay our respects to these wonderful people. So as always, we're going to go visit some more famous people today. So the famous grave site we're about to visit is a very well-known fighter pilot who fought in World War II. And that would happen to be the grave of Hazel Ying Li. Hazel Ying Li was an American pilot who flew for women Air Force Service pilots, pronounced in these letters down here. Although flying under military command, the women pilots of the WASP classified as civilians and were paid through the civil service. No military benefits were offered, and when the WASP pilots died in the line of duty, no military funerals were allowed. The WASPs were often assigned to the least desirable missions, such as winter trips, meaning that their time up in the air wasn't always that extreme. During this time, most women weren't even allowed to be pilots at all. But Hazel Ying Lee proved that anything is possible. Racism and sexism were serious issues during this time. During the attack on Pearl Harbor during World War II, a lot of Asian Americans were discriminated against. They were all forced into concentration camps just because of their race and also because they were blamed for the attack on Pearl Harbor. On November 10th, 1944, Lee received orders to go to the Bell Aircraft Factory at Niagara Falls, New York, where she was to fly a P-63 King Cobra aircraft to the Great Falls, Montana. Unfortunately, bad weather delayed the mission at Fargo, North Dakota, on the morning of November 23rd, the weather cleared, allowing Lee to leave Fargo. There was a miscommunication on the part of the control tower, resulting in Lee's plane colliding with another plane. And her plane hit the ground and burst into flames. A couple of hours later, she was pulled from the wreckage. Her jacket was still on fire. Three days later, she died from severe burns. Now we're going to be talking about the most famous part about Lee's story, is how she was laid to rest. When her family learned about her and her brother's deaths during their time in combat, the family wanted to have them laid to rest at a Portland cemetery. The only issue was racial discrimination. When they tried to have them buried at the cemetery that they wanted them to be rested at, the cemetery declined their offer, saying that this is an all-white cemetery, and because of our policy, no Asians are allowed to be buried here. There was a book made about her life. And one section of this book, if I can recall, on Google Images that I saw, the Lee family went into legal battle with the Portland Cemetery. They even wrote a letter, and I'm not kidding you, they wrote a letter to President Franklin D. Roosevelt about their issue. And surprisingly, he approved. I don't know if this is actually true or not. I mean, he did approve of the concentration camps, so we never know if this actually happened. Anyway, after the Lee's lengthy battle, they were finally able to get Hazel and her brother laid to rest at Riverview Cemetery. Even though it was a very non-military funeral, they finally gave them a final resting place. I've really enjoyed telling this story. I think Lee's story is very inspirational. She proved to us that you can do anything. And now we are at Riverview Cemetery to pay our respects to this fallen hero. This is the final resting place of Hazel Ying Lee. In 2004, she also became a part of the Oregon Aviation Hall of Fame. Let's proceed.
All right, guys, it took me a few hours to find, but here is the final resting place of Hazel Ying Li. You can definitely tell that it's her because uh, her grave is very nice. But yeah, she uh, served in World War II and she's another uh, famous resident buried here in uh, Riverview, a very historical cemetery to visit. It's awesome to go and find uh, awesome people like Hazel and others around, but thank you for serving our country, Hazel. You're an amazing person and uh, thank you for your uh, service. May you uh, rest in peace. We now move over to Beth Israel Cemetery to find a very unknown actress. When I mean unknown, I don't think you guys have probably ever heard of her before. Her name is Caroline Burke. Caroline Burke was an American actress who mostly acted in very unknown films, meaning independent movies. And I think you guys might have heard of these films. I'll show a few of them. When she passed away, she was laid to rest with her family in their family plot with her mother, father, and brother. Not only is she an unknown, unknown actress, her plot is also unknown. I looked for more than an hour looking for the Burke family plot because her original birth name was Caroline Burke. Burke was her stage name. So I looked and looked and I was unable to find them. So I decided to insert these quick shots of Beth Israel Cemetery, 10 second shots, just you know to make a video out of it. Maybe next time I'll find her and pay my respects. All right guys. This is going to be the end of the video. Like always, make sure you guys like and subscribe if you're new to my channel. And more of these videos are coming soon. All right, have a good one.